Wonderful, thank you, um, Allison. Um, there was one question uh, in the chat box, but is there a better technique for someone with large breasts? Do you recommend one technique over another? There's not a particular technique I recommend for large breasts in terms of the pattern of examining. Um, for women with large breasts, certainly, again, on your visual inspection, um, it can sometimes be easy to miss the underside of the breast. So I do think lifting the breast and making sure you're looking in that area is, a, is just an important piece to, re to remember. Um, but I wouldn't say there's one particular pattern for examining that I recommend, you know, regardless of breast size. And how about for women who have very dense or, or lumpy breasts, how should they really know what to look for? You know, we often hear that from, from our patients that they, they're scared because they feel lumps everywhere. So how do they differentiate? Yeah, yeah, so this is a tricky thing. I think, um, you know, what we, what we classically sort of teach about what you're looking for, what you're feeling for is a firm, nodule that is sort of discrete and you can feel the borders of it and it feels different from the rest of the surrounding breast tissue. Oftentimes it might be described as a little P amongst you know, a, a, the rest of your breast tissue, um, but it certainly can be hard to discriminate. And, and you know, we fully recognize that some people have sort of normal lumpy, bumpy, you know, ridgy breast tissue. I think for those women in particular performing routine self exams every month can really help you to know, okay, this is just sort of a normal ridge or a normal area that I feel every month that hasn't been changing. And so again, by, by implementing this as a regular part of, re, of your routine, you can start to feel you know, more reassured that yes, this is just part of the normal feel of my breast. Um, but it, you know, it can be very hard to differentiate. And so if, you've, if you're starting out with breast exams and you're feeling things that you're not sure about, you know, if you ever have any concern, I just recommend that you come in and see the doctor and get an exam um, so that they can help you discriminate. Thank you. And so just uh, to follow on that, I know there, you know, we are living in um, challenging times with the COVID pandemic. We want to reassure everyone that um, we are here, we are open, we are providing safe care. Uh, we are screening all patients before they uh, come to see us. Of course, all of our physicians and providers in the clinic are attest attesting to not having any symptoms every day. Uh, we're all wearing masks and eye protection and, and sanitizing our work areas frequently. So uh, do, please do not hesitate to reach out to your physicians or to us if you are concerned about any new breast symptoms or breast complaints. Uh, please come back in for your screening mammography or your diagnostic workups if you were in the middle of something. Uh, we certainly don't want this pandemic uh, to result in any delays in, in diagnosis or any uh, further increased anxiety uh, for any of you out there. Uh, so thank you, um, Dr. Laws, and now we will move on.